Welcome, everybody. Welcome to bridging the gap between what was going to be formerly Zelda month and Spooktober, as Spooktober will be extended due to some of the uh, episodes taking place into November. We have some Majora's Mask Randomizer for you today. And, oh boy, is it quite the game. Audio should be fine. Trying to figure, how is that? Can you hear me over it? Is it a little too loud or oppressive? If you've never seen Majora's Mask Randomizer, you are in for quite... You're in for quite the, uh, the surprise. This is going to be episodic. This will be going over the uh, course of the next couple months. So, month. <laughs> Majora's Mask Blow Soak Green Time. I have not heard of that. I, I've heard of the combined randomizer. I've been debating on it. So, obviously, we have Majora's Mask. We skip the intro cutscene for obvious reasons. We start with random stuff, and our goal is to still get to endgame. So, we are playing the game, but slightly to the left. So we have Song of Time, so what we're going to do is always, always in randomizers, what I'll end up doing is I will... Slightly loud. I can turn that down, though. It's hard to gauge because it's N64 era, and it's super loud. Give me one second to help fix that a little bit, because I should be able to... Because I was at 40, I can go down to like 30 just fine. It is still pretty loud. I'm going to slow that current flow of time. Yep, two hearts. I randomized the initial heart containers as well. So, in starting, there's a couple places I like to check out. One is going to be the uh, one we have immediate access to, which normally houses that silver rupee. That silver rupee is... A, it, it's already in here. Now, there are certain things, like, as you see... <laughs> I obviously have these green rupees and stuff. Where you can randomize, like, everything. Green rupees, re uh, blue rupees. It becomes a little unmanageable and harder... Uh, and when you know the more things you throw into the randomizer, the more you know it starts to block your progress. I figured we would do a casual logic one. This is I always check. Th actually, I check this second. And as the D-pad quality life, the, the fact I, I feel that the D-pad for the mass in the ocarina should have been standard, and the fact that it wasn't made me a little sad for the DS, because this is super good. All right, so I wasted wasted a drop there. I figured that for those of, for those of you that have played Majora's Mask, this would be an interesting look into how logic goes into this. Uh, for those of you that you know have played Majora's Mask, maybe it's a different way of looking at the game. And oh, that's that's a hit. All right, so now I have double defense right off the bat. Okay, that was actually kind of hot though. Yeah, volume might be a thing. Turning it, the major everything down. I'd rather people have to turn it down than me not be louding enough. Double D. <laughs> Ocarina, uh, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask are some of my favorite games. And don't get me wrong, like th this showcases the tank controls and how unwieldy it can be. But there's still to this day, there's still so much content. There's still so many things that can be made from it, and I really do enjoy going back to it. Take that red rupee. Okay, so we have those. So those are the kind of the three give me ones. So after that, so we have the three give me ones. Let us. So we need the fairy next. The fairy to go to Great Fairy. Great Fairy does have two drops because one, you go there when you uh, have the Deku transformation in the main game, and then you go once you're uh, out of Deku transformation. So if Great Fairy has two drops, if you have a mask, movement is so clunky. It really is. Remember, you have to. Pl I'm playing this with a uh, Xbox One controller because I own the game. It's just easier to throw it on here to randomize the files. It's just. This, this reminds me. I had a coworker. I, I told this story before, but it's been a while. I, when I worked at the financial institution, I had a coworker. Loved this dude. Absolutely super legit dude. And we would sit there and uh, and we would uh, make the wah sound. Like we would finish up with a, a really hard situation or we would finish up with uh, uh, work in some capacity. And we'd just look at each other and we'd make Goron noises like wah. <laughs> like this, I absolutely love that man. We're, we're going to call him uh, 
this time around. We'll call him G. Just because I don't want to, like, you know, dox this person. Absolutely loved working with him. Haven't in a hot minute. I don't work in that uh, place anymore. But, man, he was super legit. And I rarely see people that I can discuss Majora's Mask with. Because it really is just next level. It really is. Drink hurt. Okay, so we're kind of striking out. We're kind of striking out. But I've definitely run into attempted randomizers where if I get too much right off the bat, it can cause issues. So we need some sort of ranged implement, whether bow or hookshot to burst those balloons. Or Deku Mask. We use Deku Mask as long as we have magic power. So that leads us into... Let's go to the shop. What number for the bank checks? I think it's 200 and 1,000. I think it's 200, 500, or 1,000. I can't remember the last two. Um, but yeah, bank check is going to be one of those things that I will be checking out pretty early because of the drops it can have. Right, is that a mimic? Uh, ice chests are on in this run for an extra little fun factor. Ah, uh, yes. I too like buying... I too like buying 20 rupees for 50 rupees. I love interactions like that. It's so cool. No, Majora's Mask Randomizer is... It, it's breathed new life into this game for me. And I really do enjoy it. It, it tests your lot... I see it. I see it. I see it. Whoa. That, that is the noise you hear when someone asks for your manager. <laughs> Did we win capitalism, chat? Did we win capitalism? <laughs> That's 80 rupees. 30 for 20. What's this? Song of Healing. That's actually worthwhile. That's nutty. Okay. So here we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're going to engage in one of my favorite uh favorite grinding spots because I'll do this super quickly actually. So the laundry pool, as people know, where Guru Guru spawns at night, there's a crate that spawns next to him. And the crate that spawns next to him will always drop as if the this it's a static drop. I mean obviously if you randomize if you change it, it's something else. But it will always drop five rupees. So, and usually I'll do this, right? In the main game, after you do all the... You go to the observatory, pick up the moon's tier, and you're ready to, you know, go fight Majora, right? You're ready to go to the clock tower, right? I will just do this for about an entire in-game uh, day and a half. Because it's a super quick way to earn money. It's super fast, super reliable, and it's only five at a time, right? If you really want to do expedite, if you have access to it, go kill Dodongos. Because Dodongos out in... Uh, North clock town outside. Yeah, they'll drop like 50 per. So if you want to like, you know, expedite that. But if you're early game and have nothing to do, this is not a bad way to earn money. And all I need is 99. Well, I need 80, right? We'll get 90 just to be safe. No, we'll, no, we will get 80. 80 as close to 80 as we can. Because wallet cap in this thing, especially in randomizers, is 100% a thing. You roll. Uh, the glitch also does still work because it's the Majora's Mask engine. If you go straight back, I can't do what I'm targeting. Uh, this is actually a Zelda speedrunning thing for Ocarina of Time. So if you are going to roll, right, you have a certain amount of speed, right? But if you L target, nothing. Notice how it's faster. Now you know a thing that you didn't know. <laughs> Not that I've speed, speed ran these games. Just things I pick up to help me go through. So yeah, you can absolutely get from uh, Kokiri Forest in Ocarina of Time to... Hyrule Castle before the sun sets. Like, I've done it multiple times. It's super legit, and it's super awesome to use in the engine. It's one of those, like, design overs. Like, you wouldn't see it nowadays, but it's it's very of the time. It's very of the era. The, the constant oh, are going to get me. It's too good. Probably never helped me. I and mean, that's it's very niche in how it operates. I kind of love it. It's kind of like how having iron boots in Twilight Princess, like Vinny Vine Sauce did this. If you have iron boots in Twilight Princess, you can sidestep at normal speed. It's ran it's when you start breaking game interactions down like that that really start to make an experience that you know, it, it can be solved in different ways. Specifically, he used it in the Temple in the Sky, which I'm very long overdue for a actual Twilight Princess playthrough. I've only play, ever played it once, and I've never played through HD fully. 
So that'll be something that I'm looking forward to doing in the coming year. But it's super cool just to play games in a different way and to know what exploits exist. And at the very least, now you have something that someone's playing like, hey, did you know this? That is where patch is, right. And that's the thing, games used to never, I mean, games have always had problems. Games have always had issues. They've always had bugs. Like that's, that's they, they always have. It's that nowadays, you know, you'll get a exploit that gets, you know, patched super quick or, um, you know, they'll be like, well, no fun allowed. And then they'll just, you know, completely patch something out of the game or tweak something. And now the game's way less fun and almost feels like it's punishing players. Games have always had exploits. They just had to work with less. And I'd argue that the tools they had, they had to familiarize with themselves, with, familiarize them uh, with them more. Just, I mean, like, yeah, you can pick up UE5, you can pick up Unity, you can pick up a number of software. And I've been debating on picking up some Pokemon software, see about making a uh, making a Pokemon RPG and uh, RPG Maker XP. I've been debating on it. And it's like, it's just super interesting to look at. First day patch. Well, I, I can't, no, that, to me, that's a little egregious. Having a, like, day one patch being, like, 50 gigabytes. Can't, nah. Yeah, I know the Unity, uh, yeah, I'm aware of the, uh, Unity situation. Well, well, hello to you too. Got the hook shot. All right. So that is actually a super clutch item for us. Hook shot actually opens up a lot of the game. Doesn't open up the entirety of the game, but it does do a hell of a lot. So once you have access to the hook shot. We actually need access to rupees first, but we're gonna we're gonna try to go other places because if I pick up a purple, I pick up a gold or a silver rupee, I effectively lose out on money. So we're not gonna go back to uh, the laundry pool quite yet. But uh, as soon as you have hook shot, th this opens up for you. You're you're able to hit this chest. You can see it peeking out over here. Have levels? No, it does not. Not in this one. And that is why I didn't check. This also allows us to access the bomber minigame. This also allows us, uh, I thought there was something else in Clocktown that allowed us uh, access to. Bomber minigame, Tingle map. Oh, guys, we can go see Tingle. Tingle's got some thingles for us. It is just the hook shot in this one. It's, I think, the length of the long shot, I think. <laughs> I, I can't not read Tingle's voice in Nicolas Cage anymore after the Legend of Cage video by Vine Sauce. I can't, I can't not anymore. I think it was, was it? I can't remember who made it. I know Kraken was involved, I think, somehow. All right, here we go. I'm going to spend five, and I'm going to get 20. Perfect. We need to get that, uh, that wallet. Yes, I know Tingle has his own game. It's actually, uh, Tingle's... Rosie Rupee Land actually made it over to the States. Uh, Ripen Balloon Trip of Love, though, did not, which is interesting to think about. We did not have Tingle's uh, Ripen Balloon Trip of Love as in his official Nintendo release. But the game does exist, and it's interesting to consider. All right, so we got the Dart Wall. That's what we needed. So now we can access the bombers. Let's get, let's get the bombers done. Actually, let's get that done first. Mostly I'll start from Clocktown and then I'll start pushing out where I need to. Again, I can't I can't not hear the bomber kid Nicholas Cage voice. I seem so sorry about that. Well, Tingle and himself, like, God, like, can you imagine if we got a modern Tingle game? I did like that we got what, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom outfit for Tingle. Like that's kinda cool, I guess. Okay, I got I got you that time. I know I did. I know it's like just like the corralling sheep games. <laughs> There's something about the old lady sound effect that kind of just made that. <laughs> yes, randomizing the sound effects was was paramount. I needed to make sure I do that because God, it's so funny. Tingle is, for all intents and purposes, just built different. Need to roll into him. There we go. See, I can do it when I focus. It's just when I don't focus, then I'm just like, well, that's a run reset. 
like straight up DD GDQ uh, run reset territory. Also, MMR, uh, not that I'm partnered or affiliated with them. MMR does have a Discord server. So if you are interested in getting into Majora's Mask randomizing, obviously own the files. I legally have to say you have to own the game, own the files, right? Um, you know, it's something you could check out. Ocarina of Time as well has a randomizer. And I've been really itching to kind of take a look at that one too. Depending on how you can set seeds back and forth, I'd be open at some point. If this gets enough traction as a series, I'd be open to actually be having people submit, uh, submit randomizers. Oh, I, he's, he's, he's there. Snake. Who you can't hate. I mean, people are obviously definitely a little taken aback by him. Let's put it that way. Uh, I need to wait till after the postman shows up. So I think that's about 2 p.m. I do kind of like the theme there. That was, a, that was a really cool theme swap. There we go. Whew. All right, what do we got? What's the code? Okay. I'll take shield, actually. That's not bad. Okay, I always forget the code. I always forget the code. Is it 54321? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. If I forget that, I deserve to have my gamer's card revoked. I actually legit almost forgot it right now. No shit. I, mean, I, I don't know. I use Discord. I use it for business. Um. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I need to go talk to not Circus Sponge. I need to talk to other lady. Madame Maroma has a free item for you. And if you get the couple's mask, so does Mary Dotor. Yeah, the indoor theme kind of slaps. I like that they replaced it with this. I need to go talk to Madame Aroma. <laughs> what was that noise? And that, that is why I try not to be close to Rupee Cap. Right there. That actually means that I can go and get the uh, Great Fairy Blade. I want the Great Fairy Blade. Also, what's his face? Um, I, he he's only ever let me down once. The Swordmaster will will drop some things on on occasion. I can either get the Great Blade. We're gonna get the blade because it makes things easier to kill. Like the, excuse me, like the pea hat out in the field, out in uh, Termina Field. It will make that immensely easier to kill. Curiosity shop day three. I'm curious what it'll have to. First person was headless. Nah, he just he just chunk. He just thick, if you will. I love this man. I'll take that for thirty. I mean, we're making pro. Like we're zooming through some of these items. Like great fairy sword is more of a preference thing for me, honestly. You don't have to have great fairy sword. You really don't. I think it helps a little bit though. Yeah, we're going to deposit with you really quick. Also, they do fast track his dialogue. I do like that that is a uh, option they have. And we need we need to hit 200 to hit his uh, hit his cap, but we can also farm Dodongos on like day 2. Dodongos drop a lot of rupees. They drop 50 each kill. And there's a little bit of a Dodongo farm that I use. I can max out 1000 pretty quick. Okay, so now we need to go to other side of Clock Town. So let's just probably open up that owl statue. So that's the thing. There's so many different lines of play here. That's why I'm going back and forth. There's so many different lines of play that open up. Like if you had the postman's hat, you can go get that. You can go uh, get the standard piece of heart from there and see what it's... Ribbit? Ribbit? Cool. Get up. Get up, get up. I do not have a bomb, though. So I can't get the chest on the left here. I can go up to the uh, to the old man, though, and see what the moon's tear is. Moon's tear could be, you know, like bombs. It could be rupees. could be anything. could be a title deed. I've had it as a title deed before. There we go. 
I don't think that this is proper encounter music. <laughs> that's because that's definitely not going to mess with me down the line. Nope, not at all. I think this is the Kana Castle. Kana Castle is such an, a very, in, it, it's such a fascinating lore deep dive. Being a, this uh, terminus parallel to Hyrule. It's so cool to see Ikana. And I can't wait to hit Ikana. Because there are those, you know, people in the chat who haven't seen Majora's Mask. They haven't played Majora's Mask. Ikana is really dark. Uh, first deity boss only. If I pick up the first deity, I will. As far as I'm aware, I'm still able to kill everything without it. But I can, you know, I can pick. Oh, we got got. We got got. I got Goth's remains specifically. He, he, him. It, he. It, the Skull Kid. I almost said Skulker. <laughs> Lacking light and dark, both actually. It is both dark, like by lighting and ambience, and it is also dark by lore. So there's a mask in this game called the All Night Mask, and it's heavily implied that it's a torture device. It is a mask that makes the user never able to fall asleep, which is used in like a side quest with Granny. Make sure you stay awake, right? But it is a mask with red eyes. Ow, that assailed my ears. Well, we got got. We got him. And, um,. Yeah, it's a mask with red eyes that allows you to never fall asleep, and it's got a clasp on the back. So, environmental and item storytelling is just mm, chef's kiss. And that's why I love stuff like Dark Souls, too. Darn it, style. Kinda. Yeah, no, the Garo and the, um... I almost called... forgot what they were. I literally just forgot what I was talking about, the name of the castle. Uh, Hyrule and Termina, it's... Not Stone Tower. Anyways, what I was talking about prior, because I can't, I'm spacing the name right now. But yeah, the, um, Ikana, thank you, sorry. The Ikana, uh, royal family and acts that they potentially allegedly did are wild. If someone's dead, it is the Deku, highly speculated, if not reinforced, to be the Deku Butler's kid that he's missing in the end because he's crying over that tree. Yeah, no, this game is metal as fuck. And there's a reason I love it. This should be a recovery heart, because this should default to a value of one. Oh, no, actually, defaults to the hero shield. Interesting. Well, fair enough. The telescope. Yeah, no, the changing, un changing personality of Skull Kid on top of the clock tower as well. That also plays a heavy role in it. it, it, it this game is metal as fuck. Okay, so we got that done. It is now 11. Where is he? I hear the- I hear him. Okay, I think it's the kid. Because I need to be here about 1.30, 2 o'clock to get the spare room key, the knife room key, which will be a drop of something. It is, it is my favorite Zelda game. I do love Majora's Mask. It is my favorite. But man, I have a hard time recommending it to people, especially if people are not in the right headspace. Speaking of the dark, you place it, it, it is. Majora's Mask has a lot of real world themes. There was the theory that has since been debunked about the interpretation of your uh, Link's, uh, Link being dead in the entirety of Termina. So, you know, uh, him just being dead and it being going through the five stages of grief, you know. Uh, I can't remember the stage offhand, but it's it's been speculated. Mm. Frog. Fro we have obtained Frog. Uh, no stuffy and causing your ears to be all blocked. Oh, absolutely. I can't tell if I've had bad allergies the past couple days or if I've genuinely been sick because I've been sneezing a lot. And I mean, I guess it could be allergies since the weather's finally cooling down. I will take the... Zora's main. This is not. We are uh, outside of uh, Milk Road. I don't remember what that chest is. I think that's a Zora chest. Yeah, Zora's domain's over there. Follow the butterfly, follow the butterfly, follow the butterfly. There we go. Down the hole.
The music? Oh, it probably is. It's probably Azora's Domain. That's why I like getting Great Fairy's Blade if I can. It makes a lot of these trivial fights even more trivial. Better or worse? I... It's hard to say. Because Majora's Mask had a very interesting... Nothing. I got nothing. It had a very interesting development cycle, and it was rushed in some capacities. And I don't know... Because we would have gotten more 3D-isms, right? Like, in... In Majora's Mask 3D, we don't have... Uh, one, Zora Swimming now always to go fast always requires magic. Two, in regard to Deku uh, momentum between lily pads, that only is in the 64. Three make, it wasn't. So, you know, that's one of those things that I don't know if it's going to have a better time or not. <laughs> That's gonna get strange. Okay, I don't have a pony yet, so I can't do anything here. Man, this is, yeah, I can see it's getting a little loud. I'll probably turn it down for the next episode of this. Okay. So we're here. Oh, right, right. No, no, you're right, Tingle. I totally forgot because I was about to go back and bank my rupees when I actually forgot Tingle was right there. He's only going to have one potential new item, but then that means the Tingle next to the swamp is going to have another item as well. Yeah, so all the Tingles, all five Tingles, one in each area, and um, yeah, sometimes the buttons are like that. Uh, all Tingles in the, in the outlying areas, so four plus the one in Clocktown will have a you know, are randomized in this. Obviously, if I pick up one thing, it'll default just to recovery heart. Silver rupee for 40 rupees. I will take that. I don't, I don't like that that was the uh, happy mass salesman laugh. I will get that piece of heart, though. There's a theory that Mario isn't actually saying it's a me, but it's Itsumi, which is Japanese for super. It could be. Interesting. It could be. Yeah, so it looks like I started off with three pieces of heart then, which is fair, which is good. I have three hearts now. I can take uh, a bunch more hits than I could otherwise. I've had to do this with one heart. It's been, it was rough. I'm definitely, this kind of reminds me of Delfino Plaza from, God, from Sunshine. I haven't played Sunshine in a hot minute. All right, we are actually going to go back to Clock Town for a minute, though. We're going to go to Clock Town. We're going to deposit at Bank, and then we're going to go get the knife key, and then we're going to go to Swamp. Is how that's going to work. Yeah, Happy Mass Salesman is... He's interesting. Because he... He's rumored to be a Sheikah, too, because he has the physiological traits. He has the markers. Uh, the red hair, right? The red eyes, right? He, he has the markers for it, which is interesting. We've never really got... And also, remember, uh, Navi at the beginning... Uh, sorry, not Navi. Uh, Tattle at the beginning, right? Is like, that guy, he's... And then never actually extrapolates on it, which is just fuel rampant fan uh, speculation. Uh, I thought this was the one that could default you to... I thought you could go down and it would actually do that. It would actually auto-fill. Huh. You know, I'll take that, actually. I think it's permanent Razor Sword upgrade, too, because Gilded Sword is also in there. But we got the Razor Sword now. Sure, yeah. Tank those moats. <laughs> actually just playing Gambit with Rupees. I need to get, get over here before Goron does. Goron the Gobon. It's also interesting to hear about how Majora's Mask might have actually been sealed in Stone Tower, specifically like Twin Mold's boss room, which is in this like weird pocket plane. Man, like there's so much to this. Like Stone Tower Temple is kind of explained, but never really explained. And it deals with heresy. Everyone's favorite heresy um, deals with profanity, profane, you know, profanity, like how the flames are on the top of middle fingers. 
Oh man, there's so much about Stone Tower that's super creepy. Super just, if you like Dark Souls, I think Stone Tower will tickle your fancy. It's such a good location. I do think that Majora's is incredibly underrated. I have to go play through the Switch port. I need to see how well the Switch port is. Well, the, you know, Switch Online port, right? Port, quote unquote. But I need to also purchase, so I obviously have my GameCube version. I want to go purchase the 64 version, like the actual cart. I need to go find one of those for cheap. Read the manga? I have not. The manga is non-canon, though, the base, uh, base Majora's Mask, though. That does add things in regards to the beast being skinned, right? It is 64 base, but I do have the GameCube version specifically. You know what? Piece of heart, not bad. I'll take that, actually. I will take that. I know of the manga exists, and I know some of the uh, implications, as it were, behind some of the details brought up in it. But I haven't, I, in official capacity, I haven't read it. Okay. Remember when we had bomb shoes as enemies? That, that kind of slapped. Those are what those are. Those are actual bomb shoes. Ah, oh, got me before I went down. I'm glad it didn't throw me off, though. That would have been pretty cringe. Am I going to get nut? Nut? Nut! We have obtained nut. Nut has been obtained. Stick? We also have stick. We have obtained nut and stick. Runs of this game with me are so cursed. I love it. I'll take another piece of heart. Ooh, it's not bad. Take another, I'll take another one, yeah. All right, so that should do it for that one. That was... Stone Tower Temple Path. Okay, here we're going this way. We could also actually knock the guy out of the tree. We could take his rupees. Just take this dude's money. The swamp is ultimately going to reveal what we do and or don't get. Oh, I'm surprised I could actually make that. That's interesting. I thought there was another grotto over here. I don't think it held anything, though. The biggest thing is going to be the swamp. The hitbox is a little strange on. There we go. Dead. Oh. <laughs> it's it's perfect. I love it. No, no, we got nut. We got a Deku nut. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeet. All right. This is the uh, this is the stone grotto. I need a like new a boss nova or another song to do that. I don't have the ability to do that right now. Did I miss this grotto completely? Am I blind? I am blind. We've already established this. What am I kidding? It's just, oh, it's a bug grotto. That's what it is. Yeah, because there's nothing here other than bug. Do you have hints on? Yeah, I should be able to. If I uh, talk to one of the gossip stones, it should tell me a hint. All right. And then lastly on our list, we're going to go make it through the swamp. And that should conclude the first episode once we do that, because we actually get covered a lot of ground with uh, Which is going to lead into, after Spooktober, I am going to hop onto Fate Samurai Remnant. That's going to be a long play. That's going to be episodic. Uh, I'd like to get back to Final Fantasy at some point, but 14 is just really hard to do with VODs, because I have to spend so much time and then I have to upload it. Mass visually? God, that's a hard one. What would my favorite mass be? I mean, obviously everyone likes the fierce. I like the mask, uh, stone mask, actually. It's kind of a sleeper pick. I also like it. I like its effect as well. It's okay. Old hardware. Aiming is, aiming is hard. The stone mask is just very thematic. I love its effects, and it looks, it, 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 its look makes sense. If that, if that makes sense, the way that it looks is how it is expected to function. Yeah, bat tree. You have, you can't because of that map, the, the bat that waits right there. Unless you have a ranged object or a ranged implement, 
like the bow or the hook shot, you can't do anything. You can't grab it. And obviously the bats that will fly around at you. Giant's Mask for me. Giant's Mask is pretty cool. I like that it got more of a thing in the remake, and that's New Way Bossa Nova. That actually will help a little bit. Sonata of Awakening is another one that I need, actually. Okay. We have a chest down here. I'll take a red rupee. I mean, it's really not bad. Like, this really isn't a bad run so far. I've had runs where I've gotten completely shafted on RNG. Like, to the point, it was rough. Map look like a shirt? Kinda. I can see it. See the trigger mechanism. I actually kind of miss chew jellies, though. I actually really do. Aiming is not necessarily my strong suit on this port. There we go. Uh, sir? <laughs> what do you got for me? Recovery heart. Light arrows. That's not nothing. He had a recovery heart, right? That's just... That's just a heart. That's just the placeholder. An object your humanity, right? No, I'll take it. I'll take forty dollars. Uh, forty dollars. Forty rupees for lighter hairs. That's not bad. Not right now. Uh, what's our object on? I almost said Cabana. What's our object on Cabana? That's purple rupee. Purple. Okay. Well, this is going to be where we're going to end the initial episode of this. So, if you enjoyed this, thank you for coming out. First of all, I do appreciate that. I'm trying to do as much daily content as I can on the Kip TV channel. Uh, I Hopefully you enjoyed Majora's Mask, whether you've played it before, whether you haven't played it before, all that fun stuff. So do expect this throughout the rest of Spooktober and then um, into Zelda month, which would be next month, November. I'll be trying to do a weekly, maybe bi-weekly, depending on what my thing is looking like because I need to eat more footage for November. But yeah. What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on what we pulled so far on this run? What do you think we're going to pull next time? What do you think is going to be where? And uh, is this, does this rekindle your interest from Jorah's Mask? Let me know in the comments section, all that fun stuff. And I will see you on the next one.